Here we see a surgical laser which is used for various procedures. The laser light is carried through a fiber and delivered to the target. We have taken the fiber and attached it to the Raven robot arm so that the Raven controls the laser position. This allows the surgeon to take advantage of our virtual fixture and haptic rendering technology for more precise positioning. The green dot represents a tumor. So in kidney cancer surgery, we frequently remove just the tumor itself and leave the kidney behind to keep so that the patient has as much renal function as possible. As we apply surgical robotics more frequently to these procedures, it's important for us to figure out ways of assisting the surgeons in doing these procedures precisely. The most important thing about any oncologic procedure is to remove all the cancer. If the surgeon violates the, the cancer margin, it, it puts the patient at risk for a recurrence of the tumor or continued spread of the existing tumor. So some technology that would allow a surgeon to be able to proceed with the surgical excision of a tumor and yet stay outside of a certain distance from the tumor to make sure that the margins would not be violated is very helpful. Virtual fixtures are protective barriers around tissue. These fixtures can push back if the robot gets too close. We have developed software to create virtual fixtures in real time and we're using it in this experiment to prevent the laser fiber from touching the kidney and also to assist the surgeon in tracing the mock tumor by creating a safety margin around it. I was able to move around in multiple circles with less fatigue when I was using the virtual fixtures. I was having to spend a lot of time controlling my large muscle groups in my shoulders and arms when I was trying to stay within my freehand circles when I did not have the fixtures on. But when the fixtures were engaged, I basically didn't have to worry about two different dimensions, one getting too close to the tumor and the other getting too deep into the tissues, and I could just focus on just making the circle movements. And I found this, interestingly, there was less fatigue. The other thing I noticed was that I was able to go faster with the virtual fixture and still maintain nice fixed concentric circles, whereas when I was manually controlling, although my circles were still fairly tight on top of one another, I had to slow down basically to make sure that I was as precise as can be. It is possible that the virtual fixtures may offload some physical workload of the surgeon and some mental workload of the surgeon to make surgeries more expeditious.